What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's six-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. We've got ourselves six games again, and right now it looks like we have a lot of the news that we need to know, so that's always a good sign for our chances. Let's get that power of positivity back in the air, and right now, please hit that like button if you want your shot to win a free month of Osmo Plus, courtesy of Superdraft. Like this video and comment your top value according to DraftKings salaries down below. Nobody got Chandler Hutchinson correctly, but I believe in you guys, and I've got a good feeling about today. So so right now, hit that like button and comment your top value play down below. But I've got to do a Super Bowl showdown video right after this one, so we've got no time to waste here in the four corners. Let's get right into our first corner of the top owned plays and Thomas Bryant in the game versus Charlotte, where it's 115.8 implied points for Washington. Bryant is 57% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he is 54% on FanDuel. Bryant was up to 32 minutes last game, the most he's played since his return from injury, and he'd be in a good situation if he sees that run again, with some risk that he doesn't play 23 minutes in the second half like he did last game. Another Another very highly owned play today looks like Ben Simmons in a game at Atlanta where there's 117.5 implied points for Philadelphia. Simmons has 39% expected ownership on DraftKings while he has 45% on FanDuel. Simmons saw under 30 minutes last game as Raul Neto went off, a situation that won't frequently occur, and he's in a good spot with consolidated usage thanks to Al Horford and Josh Richardson's absences, and Joel Embiid likely minutes limited today. And another top owned play particularly on FanDuel is Serge Ibaka in a game at Cleveland where there's 115.8 implied points for Toronto. Serge currently just has 1% expected ownership ownership on DraftKings as well as 43% on FanDuel. Ibaka's FanDuel price is closer to an easy slam dunk, but he looks good on both sides after he played 17 minutes in the second half following Marcus Gasol's injury in a matchup versus Cleveland where his size should be needed. And now for our next corner, here are the top value plays so far in the slate, starting with Tobias Harris in that game at Atlanta, where there's 117.5 implied points for Philadelphia. Tobias averages 1.2 fantasy points per minute with Al Horford and Josh Richardson off the court in a very strong matchup at Atlanta, where it's not crazy that he, Simmons, and Embiid could all excel. Another top value today looks like Cody Zeller in that game at Washington where there's 111.8 implied points for Charlotte. Zeller saw 29 minutes yesterday versus the Knicks and that kind of run would make him very valuable at Washington with a stronger value price on FanDuel than on DraftKings but at a playable level for both sites. And a somewhat risky top value play is Tristan Thompson in that game versus Toronto where there's 105.8 implied points for Cleveland. Thompson is cheap on both sites with his minutes not terribly secure in matchups without huge centers across from him but if he holds Larry Nance and his heater at bay he looks well priced for this matchup. And now for our next corner, here are some other core plays that I'm looking at today, starting with Devontae Graham in that game at Washington, where it was 111.8 implied points for Charlotte. Graham has 47.75 and 42.5 fantasy points in his two games versus Washington this year, with reasonable prices industry-wide, and a lot of opportunity for assist and scoring upside against Washington's 114.4 defensive rating. And another core play for me today is Joel Embiid in that game at Atlanta, where there's 117.5 implied points for Philadelphia. Embiid played just over 26 minutes in his return to the lineup last game, and he averages around 1.6 fantasy points per minute with Al Horford and John Richardson off the floor, a game where he could have a huge day, even if he's under 30 minutes. And another core play I'm intrigued by is Kemba Walker in a game versus Golden State, where there's 117.8 implied points for Boston. Kemba is still priced fairly, even with Jason Tatum in the lineup, and while Tatum will take some usage off the table, Kemba still averages just under 1.3 fantasy points per minute with Tatum on the floor, with a weak Golden State defense on the other side. And now for our last corner, here are the lower owned dart throws that I find the most appealing so far, with D'Angelo Russell in that game at Boston, where there's 104.8 implied points for Golden State. Russell has over 50 fantasy points in four out of his last five games, and has a 32% usage rate on the year, with Russell's success or failure typically a deciding factor in whether Golden State gets blown out or if they hang in a game until the end. And another lower owned dart throw that I like today is Terry Rozier in that game at Washington where there's 111.8 implied points for Charlotte. Rozier has been less good versus Washington this year than Devontae Graham, but he's had the usage to excel, and if his shot falls today, he could have a big day with likely far less people on him than Graham. And another high price low owned guy with upside is Pascal Siakam in that game at Cleveland where there's 115.8 implied points for Toronto. Siakam has 20 or more shots in his last three games, and his price is high enough that he's unlikely to be owned much, even though he should see some additional opportunity with Marcus Gasol out. So that's what I'm seeing so far for today's slate, where the Hornets will either kill me or make my day. So right now, please hit that like button. If you want your chance at a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value according to DraftKings salaries down below. And as always, those free months of Osmo Plus come courtesy of Superdraft. So right now, head over to Superdraft.io or download Superdraft on the App Store. And when you sign up, use the promo code Osmo to get yourself $20 free with a deposit of $100 or more. So go right now to Super Draft, the style of games where you don't even have to know salaries. Just pick any players you want at all in the league and go from there. So play right now at superdraft.io or download Super Draft from the App Store and use that promo code AWESOMO for $20 free. And we've got a few more days left of our Super Bowl deal where if you use this promo code LIV in honor of Super Bowl LIV, Super Bowl 54, you can get yourself $54 for 30 days of all of our data at Osmo.com. That means all the projections and ownership projections for PGA, NHL, NFL, NBA, everything you want for the Super Bowl and beyond for the next 
month. Right now, get 30 days for $54 with the promo code LIV in honor of Super Bowl 54. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spaggs. I've got a lot of NBA and NFL content coming out over the next two days. Some things I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm appearing on shows. So check me out right now on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spaggs. I'll be back on Live Before Lock later today with Fast 80 Fear. So tune in then. And of course, I'll be back with you guys for one more Four Corners tomorrow to close out the week. So you guys have a great night. Hopefully these Hornets don't kill us in what should be a perfect spot against Washington. Don't let me down, Devontae. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So enjoy your nights and good luck.